Hey everybody, this is Neil from Practical Tips for Teachers, and I'm going to show you how to make an awesome classroom website. So, without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to edublogs.org, edublogs.org. And what this is, is this is a WordPress platform set up specifically for teachers, for educators, so that they can make their classroom websites. I've been using this for over a year now, and it is a fantastic tool. In fact, one of my favorite uses for this is, you know, little Billy walks up to my, uh, my desk and he goes, Mr. Huss, what did we do yesterday? And I go, where can you find that out? And in the back of the classroom, we have some old kind of junky computer that we're using. And he knows to go to the classroom website. And on there is the agenda, the learning target, even electronic links to the worksheets. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. So first, go to edublogs.org and get a blog. So let's sign up here. Let's say my username is going to be uh, master of the universe. And my password is... So I'm an educator. Username. Let's get it started. Hopefully that's not taken. Practical Okay, so uh, you guys might not have seen this from the prior cuts, but I've tried this process like seven times now, and I'm just crossing my fingers, hoping that it works this time. Thank God this isn't happening live. Okay. Let's see if it works. Yes! All right. Um, Mr. Hess sample blog is what we'll call it so at this point you're gonna put in your blog title chances are your last name is already taken especially if it's like Smith or Brown or something really common like that um, so if your last name's like Cuther Polly you might be okay and have better luck anyway so blog title uh, for mine personally I put mr. Hess class agenda because I use it as an agenda I actually go up there and update it every single day with new stuff so Let's register and create the blog here. We're working, we're working. You didn't see that, but that password's going to be blacked out when I publish this video. If you feel like you really want to, you can. You can get a, a new theme and you can add some widgets and some other cool stuff to it, which might be up your alley. Go for it. So now here, uh, you're at your dashboard. Your dashboard. This is just like any other WordPress site. If you're familiar with WordPress, you're going to feel right at home because this is exactly what's happening at a WordPress site. This is the exact same setup. So first, you're going to choose your theme. Um, let's see here. Choose your theme. I love that my internet is going so slow. It just builds the anticipation. All right. Let's pick a theme. Now, the thing about themes, don't go too fancy with it. Um, if it's a theme that you just want to, like, disseminate information, you just want parents and kids to know what happened, don't go with anything too fancy because people are going to get lost on it. I mean, we all know like how simple instructions can be lost on students and parents sometimes. Um, so uh, I would say go with something really simple. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head uh, what theme I go with, but uh, let's see. Uh, Aldehyde Green. Let's go with, oh wait, no, Edublox Pro. Okay, so some of these I forgot to mention. Uh, the Edgy Blogs Pro are uh, going to be themes that you have to pay extra for. Um, Able, I think, is a good one. Able might be one that I use. So let's go with Able. So I'm going to activate Able. And it'll take a second for it to activate here. Okay, so now I can customize it. And so you can go in here. You can play with the settings and do all sorts of different stuff. It's kind of fun and neat, and honestly, you can waste hours in here if you're really kind of geeky like I am. 
So site identity, um, the real master of the universe class blog tagline, I have the power. All right, so we go back here. So you can change your site identity to whatever you want it to be colors. Uh, header text color, you can make it, you know, blue so that the header up here will actually be blue instead of black, which is kind of boring in my opinion. Or you can make it green, whatever. You can just kind of mess with the colors. Uh, header image, I wouldn't worry about a header image personally. It's just not necessary. Background image, same thing. Menus. Menus, um, the menus are kind of interesting. You can use uh, just either a basic menu or you can create a custom menu. I recommend going, if you're comfortable with it, with a custom menu because then you can add links to, uh, for example, I have links to Skyward, I have links to Quizlet, I have links to um, uh, online worksheets that I've posted up there so people can download and print them off at home. Really, uh, It's really, really slick to be able to do that. Uh, widgets. Uh, you can use widgets so that people can go back into the calendar. Um, like a kid comes up to me and says, oh yeah, Mr. Hess, by the way, I was gone uh, 14 days ago. You know, like I, I barely remember what we did yesterday. So I will tell them, all right, go to the class website, figure out what day that is, click on that day, and it'll take them back to the agenda for that day, and it'll also list all the materials they needed for that day. And in just a minute, I'm going to take you to my actual live site so you can see what's going on. And static front page, um, I would say keep it as your latest post, especially if you're using it as an agenda because your latest post is just going to be whatever agenda you just did. So save and publish. And so here you have the basic setup. So now I'm going to take you to my current, my real live classroom website. So there it is. So we've had a few snow days, so it hasn't been updated uh, in a little while. But let me show you uh, an example. So up here I have, you know, the home, the home button, contact. So if they want to contact me, you go here and you can get my contact information. Um, please don't contact me unless you're a teacher or a student. If you want to contact me about my website, instead go to practicaltipsforteachers.com and you can get a hold of me there. Uh, flashcards. Love Quizlet. I'm going to do a video on Quizlet one of these days, but here's the Quizlet flashcards I have for right now. Uh, printable assignments. I love this too. Uh, so I have a year-round paper, scientific method unit, atoms of matter, energy, and so on. So that way they can open these up. Uh, let's say this one here. Whoops. Apparently not that one there. How about this one here? There we go. So uh, they have a paper helicopter lab that they can download they can print it at home or do whatever else what they need to. Uh, Skyward, so they can log into Skyward and uh, check their current grade. And then finally, text-to-speech. So this is really good for your, um, your ELL students or maybe your students who have trouble reading. If they have a web page, let's say they go to Discovery Science, and let's say there's some sort of article on there that they want to read about. Now keep in mind, you can do this with whatever text you want. Let's do the, um, oh wow, it's all video. Isn't that great for literacy? Let's check out Pluto. Okay, let's just use this here. So what you can do is you can copy this. If you're on Windows, you hit Control-C. If you're on a Mac, you hit Command-C to copy it. And then you go here, you can click on this text-to-speech button here. And it takes you to this, this TTS reader. It's text-to-speech so that kids who have trouble reading could paste it in here, and then they can hit the play button. The first close-up images of Pluto revealed unimaginable secrets of this mysterious frozen world. Now, scientists investigate if Pluto is home to a warm ocean of liquid water beneath its surface, and whether this underground ocean could harbor life. Now, if your kids all start speaking like that, you're welcome, because in my opinion, all people who speak with an English accent stand about 10 IQ points higher than Americans. Anyway, so that's a basic overview of how to set up a class website. Here's some ideas. Um, I have links to Google Classroom. I'll do a video on that one of these days, too. Recent posts and so on. 
Um, but these class websites are really powerful for a couple of reasons. One, you can send kids right back to a computer in the classroom if they were gone, make them self-advocate and say, hey, look up the day you were gone, figure out what we did. Secondly, when you have parents, especially helicopter parents who are flying over your shoulder all the time, if they want to know what's going on, you can just point them right to the website, problem solved, hopefully. So anyway, uh, that is how you can set up an awesome classroom website. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to get a hold of me. You can go to practicaltipsforteachers.com. Uh, there's a link to my Twitter account, which is PracticalTFT. Uh, there's a Facebook group and all sorts of stuff. And if you like this video, please subscribe, share, and tell your friends about it. Till next time, take care. Mm -hmm.